How about Matt Ryan getting benched in the favor of Sam Ellinger? Someone that has never made an NFL start in his career is going to be making his first start against the Washington Commanders. You thought that it was going to be a revenge game for Carson Wentz. Instead, it goes in the favor of Ellinger versus Heineke this weekend. So who is Sam Ellinger? For you guys that don't know, he's 24 years old. He played at Westlake High School, which is the same high school as Drew Brees, Nick Foles, Justin Tucker as well. So a lot of NFL pedigree comes from that school. He had a lot of D1 offers from Florida State, Oklahoma State, and even Texas Tech, eventually settling with Texas. And at Texas, he has the most rushing touchdowns by a quarterback in a single season with 16, and he has the most consecutive passing attempts without an interception. 308 passes attempted straight without a single pick. That was also in 2018. His entire career at Texas, his stats, 94 passing touchdowns, 12, uh, 27 interceptions, and 33 rushing touchdowns. Now, you could think he's a scam- scrambling quarterback, but at the NFL Combine, he ran a 4.84 40-yard dash. Not really Lamar Jackson kind of uh, athleticism there, but still has the legs to get inside of the end zone. Then in the NFL, he gets drafted by the Indianapolis Colts in the sixth round, 218 overall. He only came in on short downs. Fourth and one, third and short, need to convert, use his legs, use his mobility, use his power like he did in college to get those rushing touchdowns. Let's use him to convert these downs. Was utilized a lot last season uh, in relief of Carson Wentz. But it only amounted to three total carries in his NFL career. Three carries for nine yards. Not a single attempted pass outside of preseason play. Until this weekend, week eight, where he gets his first NFL start, and the plan is to start him for the remainder of the season. Broad perspective, Andrew Luck, I've never seen anyone that has hurt an entire franchise with their retirement more than Andrew Luck has. Not his fault. I'm not saying that it's his fault that he didn't. A player's decision to retire, that's a personal decision. You know, you, you can't blame him for that. But, you know, I'm just saying... I've never seen a team suffer so much for years afterwards. Like it's been, what? how long has it been? Four years since Andrew Luck has retired and, he's, and they still haven't been able to find that franchise quarterback. Ellinger is going to be the seventh quarterback after Andrew Luck or since Andrew Luck has retired. That's crazy. Jacoby Brissett has come in, Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan, all these experiments have come and gone. They failed. It boils down to Jim Irsay. And I have a feeling that Frank Reich has to listen to what Jim Ursay, the owner, is saying because Ursay was the reason that Carson Wentz left town. Why they traded him? Because Ursay, in the last two games of the 2021 season, saw what Wentz was doing and said, I don't like this. This guy is never going to lead us to a Super Bowl, even though we're 9-8 and eight, and the stat sheet might say 27 touchdowns to only 7 interceptions. That's cool. But he blew our playoff chances. We need to get rid of him before it's way too late. Get some draft picks out of him. Got rid of him. Then Frank Reich says, okay, I listened to you, Mr. Ursay. Let me bring in Matt Ryan. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah, I love it. Let's do it. Has been working out. Ursay says, bench him. Nine touchdowns, nine interceptions, bench him. I mean, this is the best opportunity for him to get his first NFL start against the defense in the Washington Commanders that has given up some pretty big plays. It's not like they're throwing him in the fire like Kenny Pickett was in his first NFL start against the Buffalo Bills. So he has a little bit more ease against the Washington Commanders, hopefully. And for Ellinger, I'm excited to see what they have. But it is kind of surprising for a team. I know that they lost to the Tennessee Titans twice, and currently the Titans are in first place for the AFC South. It's kind of interesting, though, that you would bench a veteran quarterback in favor of a young quarterback when you're not that out of it for an AFC playoff spot. Forget the AFC South, like the wild card. Like, you're still in contention for that. Like, why are we doing this move right then and there? I don't know. Maybe at practice they love what they saw from Ellinger. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's like the reports are saying Ursa really, truly doesn't want to blow this season like he 
like Wentz did last season, if you want to say that it was blown. So I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see if uh, he works out in the NFL. For you Texas fans, I would love to hear your your thoughts and your comments. Do you think that Ellinger is capable of being a starting quarterback in the NFL, is capable, capable of being a winning quarterback in the NFL? Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below.